Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the Lewis structure for ClF3. It is a chemical formula for chlorine trifluoride and to start with its Lewis structure we first need to know the total number of valence electrons. Here both chlorine and fluorine atoms have 7 valence electrons in its outer shell. Hence we have a total of 28 valence electrons for this molecule. Chlorine atom over here will take the central position and all the fluorine atoms will be arranged around the chlorine atom like this. So um, after you have done that, place a pair of electrons between each chlorine and fluorine atom to show a bond. Doing that, we will be left with four valence electrons which we will place right here on the chlorine atom because it can have more than eight valence electrons in its outer shell. You might wonder that this not be the correct Lewis structure, but hold on. You can check the form formal charges and get to know if this is the right Lewis structure. So um, let's check the formal charges and this is the formula that you can use or you can also calculate it uh, using the link that we have given in our description box below. Uh, so there are 7 valence electrons out of which 4 are non-bonding and 6 are bonding for chlorine and it has a formal charge of 0. Similarly, similarly for fluorine we have 7 valence electrons out of which 6 are non-bonding and 2 are bonding and it also has a formal charge of 0. So all the atoms in this molecule have a formal charge of 0 and hence this is the relevant Lewis structure for ClF3 and I hope this video helps you to understand that. For more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.